Hey everyone, it's Rich here again. I'm going to do another update. Uh, heavy metal, hot stuff, and horticulture. So uh, I'll show you guys some of my plants. Um, and I'm going to mix up a batch of plant food. So stick around. Alright, these are some of my overwintered plants. Um, if you saw the last video I did. Yeah, so we got goat's weed. Cherry Bomb filling in nicely. That's a Trinidad Maruga Scorpion blend. This is a really awesome uh, Boot Jalokia Ghost Pepper. It's really bushy. Um, I think it's possibly polypoid. So it was a little uh, special, quote unquote, when it was little, but uh, produces some awesome pods. That's a black Boot Jalokia, the uh, Elisir. Pimenta de Nade and Bujalokia cross. That's coming in nicely. Little one back there is a little bush. Uh, Yucatan white habanero. That's a reaper. Carolina reaper. Definitely filling in nicely. Pimenta de Nade. Looking good. That's my uh, unknown fatality cross. The mortality. Filling in nicely. This thing here is a black nightshade solanum americanum and it's actually got berries on it and it's actually covered with flowers there's two more little ones right there ahi habanero jamaican mushroom none of these down on this end are overwintered these are first year plants uh, that's a tepin and ahi lemon drop cross these are sugar rush cream plants. They're looking really nice. Just started blooming. And seven pot primo cross with yellow seven pot. Both of those. They're growing slowly, but they'll get there. That's a habanero. Stuff on this end, uh, yeah, those are eggplants. They're not doing so well. Don't know what's up with that, but that's okay. Let me show you guys a couple more in my back garden. Doesn't look, look like much yet from back here, but it's going to be a little pepper paradise after long. You can see my squash are coming up along the outside edge there. They're coming up really nicely. And the peppers are starting to do much better. Been having to water them uh, in the morning and at nighttime. Like uh, it's the end of May and it's already over 90 degrees out here, and it's only a little bit after noon, so it's it's really hot. So it's important for me to water them at nighttime, uh, so I don't steam the plants if I water them in the middle of the day. So the bacatums are doing really nicely. The uh, chinenses are really starting to pick up. I've got some Lucy plants that started flowering. I plucked them though. Um, so they're they're coming along. You know, just takes patience. Gardening usually does. These are cool. It's the first time I've grown these. They're called Purple Flash. Little uh, ornamental plants. So. I planted some okra in through here. It hadn't come up yet, but any day now. This is my uh, hodgepodge mix of pretty much unknown peppers that I got from my friend. They're, uh, they've been a little slow, but they're getting there. And they're anything from seven pots to devil's tongue. There might even be some reaper. Uh, I just don't know. Because uh, the, the flats were just completely mixed. And I had some tomatoes over there, and most of them actually died off. It's just been so damn hot. But my hill of jalapenos back here, um, I still got some. They're they're small. They'll get there. The heat's heat's been doing a number on them, but I've still got way. I, I got a ton of them, 
and I guess the strong ones are going to survive, so that's good. I got a couple more hills of pumpkins back here, and some some corn came up. A really small amount of corn compared to what I planted, but it's been so dry, I, don't, I just don't know. So, um, let me go down and show you some other plants. Yeah, on the way through, I figured I'd stop and show show off these these grapevines and they're gonna be loaded this year it's it's only two of them it's two vines they're about 10 years old really doing well and those do better if you uh, you cut them back but only every other year so your second year before you cut them back is when you you get them loaded and then the year after you cut them, uh, they make more tendrils. All right, so I filled this bucket. <clears throat> it still had some potting soil in it. That's not going to hurt anything. I'm making plant food too. Um, what am I putting in it? Epsom salt container that big I'm probably gonna put about I don't know a few few tablespoons of it a few tablespoons of this it's a bunch of microbes uh, some fulvic acid this is homemade deer bone meal uh, mixed with calcite sand put that in it and this which it's actually really good stuff it's uh, sugar, sugar beet, fermented sugar beet molasses, but I think they discontinued it, but I've got a bunch left. There's a bit left in there, but uh, I'm probably going to end up dumping all of it in there. All right, I got it all mixed in. Um, I could put an air stone in it and let it aerate a bit, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just I got it sitting in the sun. I'm gonna let it uh, sit and kind of cook, so to speak, for a couple hours. And then when the sun starts going down at night, I'm gonna go out and, and feed a bunch of the plants. It's a whole lot of it, especially uh, my potted plants are really gonna love that. And to do that, let's take a old wine bottle, fill fill a bunch of them. And uh, for me, it's just a, an easier way to pour. Uh, and also, I got a bunch of, these are red peter plants that got to go in the ground. Fatale. It's really coming along. It's got a bunch of buds on it. And CGN 21500 crosses. You can see they got, they got pods on them. Both of them. Capsicum Eximium and Tolalache. That's a Datura Moonflower. Uh, it's an unknown seven pot. And seven pot bubble gum. So these are some of the plants that are going to be getting the plant food. I got all those green containers are Osage orange trees. So, all right, well, thanks for watching.